넌 가져 장학 번호 fake like 니가 어제 만든 음악 It's only one way up I don't wanna see your number 니가 pick up in the color I do not like it not for So can I ask for our info Go listen to our dog chain in the gym so go 신상 신상 간 여자 슬 fresher the green put the scene 니 좋아 you'll see the glow 니 그게 우리 니 뭔데 언니 저런 모시 emergency 뭔데 언니 And now, 2K Sports brings you Thursday night in the NBA. I'm Brian Anderson, along with Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg, our reporter, Ali LaForce. I really think that L has to fall on their defense, or a lack thereof. Just not enough focus at that end of the floor. Yeah, and that's really inexcusable. I mean, there's just no way that you can justify that. When you don't put the work in on defense, you're going to end up on the losing end. Yes, it's good. Well, Grant, going into these back-to-back -back games, do you think coaches are more conscious of the disbursement of minutes in the first game? You know, they have an idea of the total number of minutes they want their superstar in over the two-day period. But it really comes down to how this first game goes. Those long arms of AD help him on jumpers. He pretty much can't get to a shot because he's so long and extends on it. And it's Mitchell, the miss. And it's the Lakers' ball. James with the ball. Now guarded by Mobley. Pass to Davis. The shot's good on the assist by James. Davis has gotten his second bucket on the night. Really doesn't matter what position LeBron is playing. The point, the four or the five, James changes games with his passing ability. And stolen by Mobley. Outside Mitchell. Here's Mobley. Lays it up and banks it in. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Well, as we've seen throughout the history of the Lakers, Clark, it's a big free agent and trade destination. Well, I think part of it is the weather attraction. I mean, guys love playing where the weather is always nice, not to mention to be with a team whose goal is to win championships. In many ways, Anthony Davis is the epitome of a two-way threat. He can be just dominating on both sides of the ball with his physicality. Now here's Garland. And he's been a big part of their offense, averaging more than 18 points a game. He's off on the layup. You know, I think the effort on defense there has everything to do with why he missed that shot. Well done. James deciding where to go with it. Here's Davis. Second shot opportunity. Oh, sweet move. The rebound by Allen. And so it's Allen who brings up the ball for the Cavaliers. Trailing by two. And their first look at this year's Lakers squad. They didn't give up a single victory to this team last regular season, which went according to script. Right you are. I mean, winning the games they were supposed to win. No doubt they'll look to continue that tonight. And both free throws good for Mobley. Well, the last few years, defense has been the calling card for the Cavaliers. Yeah, a lot of that has to do with their big men. Not only do they have the length and size, they've got tremendous agility and are able to switch on to the perimeter as well. And here are the Cavaliers now, following the score by the Lakers. Pass to Allen. Here's the teardrop, and the layup is good. Allen's gotten his second bucket of the game. I like seeing Allen get this kind of position because you give him the rock there and he can take care of the rest. And yep, it's good. Guys, this has been an incredible performance this quarter. I mean, he's getting the ball where he likes it and wants it and just going to work. 
Now here's Allen. Giving them some good production. Putting up just around 16 and a half points a game. Oh, it's stolen by Achimura. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That one on Mitchell. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Lakers. So right away, we've seen them finding points with solid post play. I mean, they're playing aggressively and fighting for it down there. Cultivating a lot of assists right now, which is beautiful to see. Love the way they're working that ball around. Off the inbound pass. And finished off by Davis. When AD gets going like this, it's almost impossible to slow him down. He's got so many different ways to beat you. That's a textbook example of how to move the ball. Boy, you got to love that action. Ooh, stolen by Allen. On the wing, Struess. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. One sixteen left in the opening quarter. Here's Allen. Another shot. And Davis with the block. Got to be careful putting up a shot around Anthony Davis. Davis, a screen to the middle. And Davis slams it home. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. Really piling on the lead with a dunk like that. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. Yeah, you know, with that size difference, that's not an easy shot. I mean, I don't care how close to the rim he is. That's a tough shot. Now here's Struess. Mobley outside. 30 seconds left to play in the first. Rebounded by the Lakers. And he's having an ugly quarter from the field. And seems really frustrated. Davis, no good on that free throw. Anthony Davis, one shot. Substitution on the court. And so Prince will bring it up for Los Angeles. Four-point game. Pass to Hayes. And he gets that one. That's three buckets in a row off assist. Here's Mitchell. He's scoreless. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. With good length and strong physical tools, Mitchell will challenge any opponent on the inside. Here's James. And slam dunk by James. A <laughs> one-handed tomahawk. That's a guaranteed highlight, B.A. <laughs> Check out the bench. They flew out of their seats after that. But that's how you get your teammates fired up. And so it's Anthony Davis making things happen for Los Angeles. Oh, what a quarter. He was absolutely on fire offensively. Back to the game after this break. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. Guys, what stands out to you from the Lakers in this one? Well, clearly they played well in the first period because of their selfless attitude. Yeah, and you know, so many of their hoops came off an assist, which is a good sign of ball movement and sharing that ball. The Lakers in the lead. And what you love about the Cavs, on most nights, they take really good shots, Grant. Uh, they do, B.A. I mean, I love the way they work the ball into the painted area. And even their guards are constantly penetrating, getting into the paint, creating for themselves and their teammates. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Hey, Brian, the Cavaliers have that banner from 2016. Donovan Mitchell said, quote, we want to bring another championship for this city. None of us are LeBron James, but we can do it as a group. Our goal is to win the title. The city has seen it once, and they'll hopefully see it again. Brian? Well, they are a team to be reckoned with for sure. Thanks, Allie. Now Los Angeles with it. They lead by six. That's their biggest margin. At the conclusion of this one, they're off to Memphis where they'll face the Grizzlies. 
It's the second game of three on the road. The three from Prince. Connects from downtown. Prince has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Coming into the league, scouts predicted Prince would be a solid 3 and D specialist, and they were spot on. Here's Mitchell, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Mitchell's got his second basket. They're punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the half. Hayes with it. Now Thompson defending. Now to James. Shoots over Mobley. The Cavaliers pull it in. Last game matched up with the Grizzlies. A tough loss there. It was poor efficiency scoring the ball. They needed too many attempts to get their points. Yeah, and I think they just seem to be a page behind. A step slower out there all game. James, outside. Puts up a three. No good there. And just unable to get anything going tonight. I mean, his teammates have really bailed him out. That shot off the mark. Some solid defense from Hayes. When talking about Karis LeVert, he's someone that does whatever is asking him. You know what, B.A.? You're right. <laughs> Whether he's starting or coming off the bench, he's ready to contribute and help his team any way he can. So physically powerful. A tough task to defend LeBron inside. That free throw, good from James. Hey, Clark, what's most amazing about LeBron James, how remarkable he is playing at his age. PA, there's a lot of things that are really incredible about LeBron, but that's one of the most incredible. His high level of play at his advanced age. And he's still playing with great athleticism. Credit to the work he's put in and his gift in playing. Yeah, this is why defenses must be right up on Mitchell or he'll burn you off the pass. Outside Davis. From six feet away. That one's good. Seven for ten now. He's been playing great unselfish basketball. Really putting the rock in the hands of the right shooters. He is delivering a lot of room service times tonight. One sweet one after another. Mobley, no good. He's been ice cold tonight. And, you know, you look at the scoreboard, guys, they really could have used his contribution. And there's the foul. It's going to belong to Darius Garland. That's his first foul. So both teams making some changes here. Davis from long range. No good on the shot. The Cavs trailing. Stolen by Davis. Pass to Reeves. Back to Davis. Fades. The Lakers with another miss. That's a shot he'd like back. He's usually going to make those. Struce up top. In his last outing, eight points for him. Drills it from deep. Struce has got five points. Could have been much better defense. I mean, you can't give this guy any room to operate. Here's Davis. The Lakers with another miss. Unnecessary to go to the fadeaway there. It wasn't needed. Could have just kept it simple and taken the easy shot. Pass to Mobley. Fifty-nine seconds left in the first half of this game. Out to Garland. Levert outside. On the tape. Oh, and there's a one-hand jam. Levert. Very confident. He's an amazing athlete and can put the ball on the floor and attack on the drive with the best of them. He's lost his rhythm completely this quarter, but he's determined to stay after it. Out to Mobley. From behind the arc. Rebound, Anthony Davis. You kind of wonder where his head's at. The shot selection hasn't been there, and of course that one was just crazy. Two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. He's fallen into a bit of a slump this quarter. How quickly things can turn. Left side, Struess. Out to Garland. And 
so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. The Lakers on top. They lead by one. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Clark, we're in the era of the scoring point guard. Who's the best one going in your mind? Well, I think you got to start with Steph. I mean, he is just so unbelievably remarkable in his shot-making ability everywhere. People obviously target his three-point shooting, but he, to me, is the greatest shot maker that we've had in the game when you look at the totality of what shot making is there's nobody that has mastered shot making in every way the way step davis that's good ad just shoving past the inside contact that time powerful move getting it done the three from mitchell rebound by the lakers their biggest lead of the game was nine. Left side, Davis. Hachimura outside. From outside, off the mark. Boy, I'm absolutely shocked he didn't get that one to go. Usually, he's money from deep. Mobley, no good. The Lakers in the lead. Well, the Lakers hired Darvin Ham to be their head coach back in 2022. Grant, that proved to be a great move. I agree, B.A. I mean, Ham was an assistant for a decade in the league, earned his spot as the main guy, and Darvin was a really tough player, too. I mean, he went undrafted and won a title with the Pistons against the Lakers. Allen inside. Out to Mobley. Six to shoot. Driving in. Oh, the teardrop falls in. Mobley's got six points. Yeah, the easy hoop assisted by Allen that time. He's developed a nice passing game. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. And the players take this opportunity to get some Gatorade. Getting some fluids in you is so important during these timeouts. Get fresh. Keep those batteries charged. Yeah, without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a ball game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have to be hydrated. And so it's Russell with it. He brings it up for the Lakers. They lead by one. Here's Davis. It's rebounded by Cleveland. And we're just about two minutes into the final half of play now. Outside Garland. For the lead. It's not going to go for him. Some solid defense from James. Grant, you watch Darius Garland. It often looks like he's a step ahead out there. He's got a great natural feel for the game, B.A. I mean, on the ball, he makes quick reads, and he'll create for himself and others. Off the ball, he always seems to be in the right spot and ready to fire. Pass to Thompson. Los Angeles with it. It's a one-point game. 
A chance here to catch up with Ali from the sideline. Hey, Brian, LeBron James last season moved into the top four all-time in assists and first all-time in points scored. Not only that, he is the only player in NBA history with over 30,000 points, 10,000 rebounds, and 10,000 assists. And he's still going. Folks, what we are witnessing is legendary. Brian? That is the truth. Good stuff, Allie. Thank you for that. Down low. And Davis slams it home. I don't know what to do about that. Davis just powering it down. Cleveland calls timeout. Substitutions. The Cavs trailing. Here's Mitchell. Oh, and Mitchell powers it home. Yeah, and Mitchell is so confident with the ball in his hands. I mean, you gotta love his tenacity. Here's Davis. Uses the glass on the layup. Davis has got 26. Scoring well this quarter. Picking up steam as he goes. Here's LeVert. There's the drive. And he banks in the layup. Boy, because he's got such great confidence in his ball handling skills, he's fearless attacking the rim. LeBron on the go. Now here's Davis. He's got 26. 56 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Levert, that's good. And now just a one-point Los Angeles lead. You know, you can see the confidence level Levert has by how often he hunts for his shot, especially from there. And that one's good. Davis. You know, throughout this quarter, guys, they've had no answer for him defensively. And he's been absolutely relentless. To the right side. Pass to Mobley. To the paint. Here's Mitchell. Outside for LeVert. Shot clock at five. Stolen by Davis. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Look at AD, and you know he's taking a share of contact. Quite honestly, that just comes with the territory when you're a dominant offensive player like him. Both free throws good from Davis. It can help a big man's game to hit those free throws. It keeps the defense from getting too aggressive. The shot by Levert, no good. Now Davis. Give him 30. Over Levert. The fadeaway J is off the mark. And so it's Anthony Davis making things happen for the Los Angeles Lakers. He made a big impact, scoring 12 points in the quarter. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Here's Garland. And in on the layup. Inside, Garland outplays his size, using speed and agility to get it done. And so it's James with it. He brings it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over.
over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Thanks, guys. Darvin Ham had some words for his team over the break. He told his guys to stay after it, to not get complacent and lazy with this lead. He wants them to keep adding to it. We'll see if they're able to do it, guys. And Allie, thank you for that. The Lakers call timeout. Let's give it up for your From the inbound. Here's Hayes. Pass to Vincent. Screen by James. Inside. Oh, LeBron sending it home. Well, you better stop the ball, especially when it's LeBron James with it. That guy is pretty good. And Mobley gets it to go. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. James can't get it to go. Yeah, still close, but with their tough play on the boards, we're certainly seeing the effort. Garland, a good look. It's kept alive. Here's Mitchell. Oh, nice fake, but the layup's off the mark. And you will not see that from him very often, especially right at the rim. And I say, hey, if it keeps working, go to it. Stay with it. I mean, until the defense responds and provides more resistance, keep making them pay. Well, the perfect frame for a modern defensive big man, Jared Allen, is 6'9", with a 7'5 wingspan. Yeah, and he's able to move laterally and contest vertically. Not a lot of flash to his game. More than effective, though, and he is a linchpin for them inside. Here's Struess. Rebound by the Lakers. James, right side. Going inside. No good that time. Good D by Mobley. I don't think he's performing up to his own expectations, but they still find themselves out in front. Here's Allen. Deflected. Excellent toughness on the defensive end, and that's what Prince does. He's got size, and he's got the will to defend at a high level. Here's Mitchell. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to go on Jackson Hayes. Had he played to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup. So I'd agree with you there. And he sinks the second. Well, Grant, there's one thing Mitchell will always be remembered for by Cavs fans. Oh, so true, B.A. I mean, 71 points in a game in the 2022-23 season, setting a Cleveland franchise record. And for a franchise that has had so many great players, including the likes of LeBron James. We're about two minutes into the fourth now. Up top, Davis. Free throw line jumper. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. 
he drops yet another dime, just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Well, when you look at the assist totals, heck, they've been clearly the better team. Garland for three. Rebound by the Lakers. Outside Davis. James, outside. Outside Davis. Shot clock at six. Three-pointer. And that one hits the back iron. And here's Mitchell. He'll bring it up for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Trailing by four. Fades and shoots. Davis. That's good. Davis has gotten four this quarter. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Lakers. Their defensive intensity has served them well. It kept the offense scrambling and resulted in several steals. You know, something else that catches my eye is the fact that they have blocked a bunch of shots. I mean, the block shot total, extremely impressive. The defensive intensity, top level. Davis misses. Well, I cannot believe he didn't capitalize there. And neither can he. Mitchell on the run. And it's blocked by Davis. To Achimura. Here's Reeves. Here's Davis. And he lays it up and in. Davis has got 36 points. Davis really going up strong once he's near the basket. Love seeing him do that. Here's Allen. Checked by Davis. And it's blocked by Davis. From the elbow. Off the left rim and out. Timeout call of the Cavaliers. They trail by six. We've got 108 left in the fourth quarter here. The Cavs trailing. Things aren't looking good here. I mean, they need points and they need a map. It doesn't look good, even with a quick bucket here. Davis from long range. The Cavaliers pull it in. Boy, they dodged one there, guys. I mean, he got the wide open look that he wanted, just didn't knock it down. Mitchell. And it's the Lakers on the break. Davis down low. Just five on the clock. The Lakers got to get one up. Late clock. The three from Russell. And the three-pointer goes. <laughs> they have a relentless mentality, even with the game in total control. And, you know, until that final buzzer sounds, I mean, you've got to treat every possession like it's crucial. Here's Davis. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That one's good. Davis has got 38 points. Stepping up and nailing an important shot to put this away. And, you know, this run shows what kind of attitude this team has. I mean, the win is there. Go get it. And finished off by Davis. Using that length, Davis turning a miss into a make. Bonus points for his team. So we see the Lakers taking the W here. Boy, a nice win on the road. By the time this one was winding down, this building was stone cold silent. And that's exactly what you got to do. You have to try to take the crowd out of it. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. To lock the game up, the rapper of the year can't train the f name up to get for to change up. Of the year can't train the f name up.
It's kinda easy when you listen to the cheat up sound. Pioneer speakers bumping as a I got the sound for your then it's easy to see that this DJ do all and G. Can I get in where I fit in? Sit in, listen, let me conversate better yet. Regulate, shake the spot with my knot. May fade, cause I don't like to dream about getting paid. I played ball through the halls of CIS with Snoop Dogg's big brother calling dirty left. Rack them up, crack them up, stack them up against the gate. The homies trying to catch me, but they can't wait. The street lights just came on, and my mama's in the streets telling me to come home. I hit the gate and I hop on my swing. And I tell the homies, all right then, yeah. It's kinda easy when you listen to the cheat up sound. Pioneer speakers bumping as a Got the sound for your then it's easy to see. That this DJ be more G. It's kinda easy when you listen to the cheat up sound. Pioneer speakers bumping as a I got the sound for your then it's easy to see. That this DJ be more G. Verse 2. Now what should I do? Catch the bus to Cal State or chill with the Voltron crew? Everyone is in their seat here in Cleveland as the Cavaliers look to grab a win here at home. Our broadcast team tonight, on one side, Greg Anthony. On the other side, Steve Smith. On the sideline, David Aldridge. I'm Kevin Harlan. And this is a one-and-done trip for Los Angeles before getting back to their Clipper fans. Yeah. Yeah, and Kevin, things are starting to get a little bit out of control for them. This losing streak is, is starting to become an embarrassment, and it's only going to get worse if things don't change. And so it's the Cavaliers getting on the board first. Back to Westbrook. Takes it out to Leonard. Clock at four. Mobley with the block! For three, Mitchell... It's hauled in by George. Injuries have hampered Paul George over the last few years. But when he's healthy, he's elite. Greg, he's still a go-to option offensively who can guard the league's top wings. And as he's aged, he's really embraced a leadership role. And it's Mitchell with the jam. This is what Donovan Mitchell wants to do. Drive the ball, get a bucket, a foul, or both. And he wanted everybody in the building to feel that ferocity. And we did. Yeah. And we, we felt it. Even over here, we felt it. Now, here's Garland. A good portion of the scoring has come from him. He averages more than 18 points a game. Dribble penetration is what Garland's all about. And he's a great decision maker on the move. Here's Harden. And here's George for three. Mobley with the rebound. And maybe it's the adrenaline talking, but they're one for four to start this game. Need to settle down. And here's Mitchell from the arc. The Clippers grab the miss. Westbrook up top. And they get some nice contributions from him on a nightly basis as he averages over 11 points a game. For a number of seasons, Russell Westbrook has averaged double-digit assists. Allen. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's on Kawhi Leonard. He's getting his first free-throw attempt of the night right now. And so far this season, shooting at a 75% clip from the line. Wow, what, he have something in his eye on that shot? <laughs> <laughs> and as the season draws to a close, GA, we've got teams buying for playoff position, only adding to the importance of each game now. And for those teams, you have to have the right mentality. You can't treat these like normal regular season games. These are an extension of the playoffs. Now, here's George. Darius Garland missing his last shot. Over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Tipped away. Stolen by Zubox. And now running up the court. Leonard pushing it up. Left side Westbrook. Kicks it out to Leonard. 
It's George on the wing. A miss that time would have put him up. You know what, though? They keep calling his number despite the difficult quarter he's had. And, Greg, you talk about rim protection. Cleveland can really shut down the lane, can't they? Yeah, I mean, they have the personnel to do it. Big front court and quick guards who can keep ball handlers in front. The try by Mitchell. Great tee that time from Leonard. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's going to be on Donovan Mitchell. You know Kawhi Leonard can be kind of a mystery off the floor. But when he's playing, his actions speak for themselves. That free throw missing. See, this current Clippers group, they're changing the identity of this franchise. Hey, Kevin, you know this. For a long time, they couldn't get right. Winning just one playoff series during their first 27 seasons in L.A. Now the Clippers expect to make postseason runs. That one drops. He ties it up. Well, J.B. Bickerstaff, Greg, has done a tremendous job in his time with this Cavaliers team. It has had him on the winning track since his first full season with the team. Really getting the most out of this roster. Not full of superstars, but full of guys who enjoy playing together. Driving in. Bruce's shot is good. A superb pass from Garland. He's all for setting up his teammate. Island with it. Garland picks him up. Here's Mann. And the Clippers miss again. Okay, that's frustrating. You work hard to get these open looks. You know he liked that one back. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. Fifty seconds left to play in the first. Here's Highland. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. Back to Leonard. Shot clock at five. And he lobs it up, and it's slammed in by Plumley. In the pick and roll, I like confidence. Leonard Sean as a facilitator. His game just continues to ascend. And the foul call in Corey Leonard. That'll be his second foul of the game. The question is, do you leave him in? Obviously, you don't want him to pick up a third foul this early. Inside, Allen. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Garland. Allen's got five points so far. Out to the right wing. A nice shot by Tucker. Defense has to be careful with Tucker from range. He's got reliable accuracy. It's good. He's got seven. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. Cavaliers on top, leading by a point. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter. All right, we'll take a look now at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for Cleveland. Establishing a pink presence early in the game. It really helps and pays big dividends down the line because it frees up your perimeter. And it seems they've also put an emphasis on moving the ball, working to rotate around the defense and find those quality looks. And so it's Garland who brings up the ball for the Cleveland Cavaliers. This, their first look at this year's Los Angeles squad. And you have to love it when there's a matchup like this. Two teams that are at the top of their respective conferences going at it. This is going to be a fun first game between these two squads. Buckle up. George with the bucket. 
when Paul George is on the court, the defense has to be aware of him on the perimeter. Mitchell wide open. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Jared Allen is earning his keep in the painted area. He said from a young age, that was instilled in me. The footwork as a big back to the basket. I'm trying to find it in the flow of the offense. I don't want to disrupt this to where I'm getting in people's way. I just want to find my spot. Kevin? And he does it well. D.A., thank you. And, Smitty, we know when it comes to the Clippers, they seem to go as Kawhi Leonard go. No doubt, Kevin. The only year they didn't make the playoffs with him, he was hurt. But when he's healthy, they are dangerous. And the basket is good. Quality shot for Donovan Mitchell. He worked hard to get that look. Allen with it. George picks him up. And Garland has it in the corner. Powell for three. And again, no good by the Clippers. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. Down low. Bruce. And it's sent back by George. The Clippers trail. Takes it inside. Mobley with the block. And gotta like what they've been doing down low in the post. Garland with the bucket. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Outside Westbrook. They set the screen. Three-pointer. It's rebounded by Cleveland. They come into this one following the loss to the Grizzlies. Yeah, sometimes the matchups just aren't in your favor no matter what you do. It seems like your opponent does it better. You know, they were reacting rather than dictating. I thought they played scared all night. Harden outside. When it comes to the essential components of a winning team, GA, how much importance do you place on veteran leadership? Kevin, I think it's important. You, you want a few guys in the locker room who've seen it all. Players who can keep the ship steady if the team kind of goes awry or, or has a tough stretch. And, and hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, and they put a lot of effort and focus on the back door. And Dubots picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Unable to get the ball in bounds, they get called for the five-second violation. And that's a couple of very shaky possessions in a row. One turnover right after the other. Now, here is Harden, still without a basket. You want unselfishness, but you also need to keep it under control. The Cavaliers leading by six. The three from Garland. It's rebounded by Leonard. And so Westbrook will bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Last game matchup with the Suns, a, a tough loss there. And that was a game 
to forget. You'd like to find some teachable moments, but I think they'd like to just turn the page and move forward. Nothing wrong with that. Sometimes we overanalyze things. Can be better to just let it go. That one is no good. You know, intensity is what makes Russell Westbrook so special. He's relentless, and it's difficult for even great players to keep up with him. And load management, a term, Greg, that's been associated with the Clippers. And Kawhi rightfully managing his return from ACL injury with care. It's harder to build chemistry when guys are out, but it's all about staying healthy for the postseason. A kick out to Mobley. Shot clock at six. And Garland has it in the corner. Sinks it after the KG pump fake. Garland's got four points this quarter. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. And the dunk by Zubats. There's the flush from Zubats. I love when he goes up strong like this. Allen, that's good. Allen's got the lead up to seven now for the Cavs. That makes it 10 of their last 12 coming from inside the paint. And Kawhi Leonard with the slam. You can see the work Kawhi has put into his ball handling. He gets separation almost any time he wants. That'll be a five-second call. The first substitution, number 14, 10, 10. We've got 22 seconds left in the second quarter. And finished off by Westbrook. I'm amazed at the level of creativity by Russell Westbrook. His dunks are special. He's an outstanding athlete. Here's Mitchell. And he gets the bucket. Mitchell's got 10 points in the game. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Man. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Great dive from Zubats. He understands when he should look to give it up. Donovan Mitchell firing on all cylinders for Cleveland. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. We've got more in store for you right after this. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Clippers have their sights set high. Coach Teron Lu says this is definitely a championship team, and it's not going to just come. We've got to put the work in. There's got to be a lot of sacrifices if we come together and do the right things, so we definitely have a chance. Kevin, back to you. And David, he's a big reason why. Thanks so much. Clippers trail by three. Here's George. And the baseline jumper, no good. And the Cavaliers with possession here. Pass to Allen. Nasty move. And it's Allen with the jam. What a feed by Donovan Mitchell. Taking full advantage of the weakness in the defense. You know, Greg, it's nice to have a big man like Mobley out on the floor with all the things he can do. And, Kevin, you got to love his skill set for a seven-footer. Really diverse in terms of what he brings to the table. And then you hear so much praise for his attitude and his feel for the game. What a valuable player to have on your team. It's his first trip to the line. Mobley, two shots. And he's good on the second. Los Angeles calls timeout. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated.
the Clippers call time here. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. And it boils down to the question. Toughness, one team showing it, the other allowing itself to be bullied. Basketball just over a minute played so far. And the foul called on Jared Allen. That is his first foul of the game. Clippers trail by six. Left side Westbrook. That's a big donut, folks, here. Start the second half. Four straight. They missed. A good job by him on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in that department. Mobley outside. And Mobley throws it down. Boom! Yeah, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Back to Zubac. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Zubats has got eight. And they get one. Now, one of five here in the third. Harland attacking. Good D by Harden. His struggles from the field continue. Yet, they still hold the lead. He's had a few chances at the line. One of three in the game. Shooting from LA. Russell Westbrook. Two shots. And he can't get the first one. And he sinks the second. The Cavaliers leading by five. A drive by Garland. Here's Mobley. Up and in on the way. Mobley's got five points in the quarter just reliable guys he's just always trying to make the right play and so Allen will bring it up for the Cavaliers since the second half started they've only given up three points and there it is for him they should continue to get the ball inside the defense struggling to contain them and Leonard gets it to go from mid-range Kawhi's touch is just fantastic they get it again. Cleveland moving it around. Back to Garland. Six on the shot clock. Second chance shot. And it's good on the way. Garland's got the lead up to nine now for the Cavs. Putting consistent pressure on this defense. Just the threat of him out there makes this offense work. A power flush with a long hang on the rim. At the end of that. that could be, you know, that could be a catalyst for him. It really could. Harden takes it out to Leonard. Pass to Westbrook. They set the pick. Over Mitchell. And the rebound goes to the Cavaliers. And they hold a huge advantage on the backboard. And Cleveland with another turnover here. Jason Plummer. Terrence Mann. Norman 
122 left in the third. Clippers trail by seven. Beyond the arc. Out of bounds. Cleveland will take possession. Just didn't get his hands up in time on that one. They weren't on the same page there. And the Clippers making a change here. The way, Greg, they're sharing the ball tonight, mesmerizing. Everyone's getting to touch it, and, and everyone's contributing. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. The Cavaliers have split their free throws right down the middle so far. They're two for two. And I think this is a strength of this team. Solid numbers at the line across the board, 77% collectively. We've got 108 left in the third quarter of the game. Outside Westbrook. And finished off by Westbrook. His ability to change his pace and direction is so quick. That's one of the reasons Westbrook is special when handling the rock. Here's Mobley. And another miss by Cleveland. Clippers trail by six. Leonard with the ball. He's picked up by Mobley. Outside Westbrook. And it's off from three-point range. Thirty-two seconds left here in the third quarter. Mobley misses. Left side, Leonard. Outside, Westbrook. Another miss by Westbrook. And, and, and really credit their advantage on the back door. That's where the lead has been built, and that's why they are in control. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And, and he buried a bunch of shots from the stripe in that last game. Boy, I love watching Donovan Mitchell. He's a fun player to watch. An explosive combo guard who possesses lots of confidence. Mobley inside. Off target with the jump hook. And so it's the Cleveland Cavaliers with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. Their defense has been very effective in locking down Russell Westbrook. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. Timeout called the Cavaliers. Now let's send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. During that last break, I heard J.B. Bickerstaff talking with his team. He told his players, I love the energy right now. You look like you're having fun out there. Keep playing for each other because our chemistry looks great right now. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. Here's LaVert. 
Good, and a nice assist from Porter. Levert's got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for the Cavs. Tucker. Offline with his three. The Cavaliers leading by eight. Here's Thompson. Plays